didn't even Fourteen. try to hit that with power. Well, from what happened so far, this straightforward pink into the corner. <laughs> Good queuing needed here. Ah, oh. it's just relentless. But a tough black, 20. a tough black to force a respot. Twenty. Very tense stuff here on table two. Both players know this is a massive frame. All about the cue ball now. Shows the class of the man, doesn't it? Look to be running away with that frame before having a terrible kick on 52. for the pink he's going to have to play a lot of pace to get the cue ball up and down the table back for the black oh tremendous now where's the cue ball going where's the cue ball going oh. on the black it's on Six. the black I think that's what you call an aggressive shot Amazing. What a frame, what a turnaround. He didn't get the great clearance that looked on, but Robin Hull, Robin must be straddle shot. Robin, call for Batman. This would take some shot to get onto the black from here. Well, what about that? Terrific cue power that from Mark, from Sean Murphy. Well, remember, he needed a snooker in this frame. He looked like he was heading out. He now needs the black, and it's 4-4. Four, four. Well, what poise under pressure from the Masters champion, Sean Murphy, to take us the distance. What a thrilling match this has turned into, and we've got one more frame to decide it, to decide who goes through to play Ronnie O'Sullivan in the quarterfinals. We're level now, four frames all. So it's for all Sean Murphy then winning that eighth frame, having needed a snooker. This was the pink joke. Well, this is an incredible shot to get the cue power in that, at that speed into the middle pocket. And by the way, the black wasn't the gimmick. <laughs> As I say, it just shows 
the poise under pressure that Sean Murphy has just completed the triple crown and uh, he's taken us to the decider no great surprise both players leaving the arena